How do you learn to travel by yourself? If you are an absolute beginner, how do you start? What is the first step? And in today's video, we are going to talk about that. So let me just sit this thing down so we can actually talk about this. Step number one is to pick a side. Either is front end or back end, it does not matter. Just pick one. The starting point doesn't really matter as much because either way, you'll have to learn all these basic fundamental concepts about coding. The root of thumb is that if you find yourself a little bit artsy and you really enjoy the visual, you might be more interested in front end versus if you are very right into problem solving, you might be interested more in the back end. For the front end side of things, I would recommend to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And one of the most highly recommended website by me is called FreeCodeCamp. As I mentioned, I am not sponsored by it. It's completely free and it's a community that help you to get into coding. Go into FreeCodeCamp and go through some of the sections about HTML and CSS and see how you like them at first. For backend, I would actually recommend either starting learning with Python or Java. And the reason for that is because both Python and Java apply to different fields in coding and programming. So for instance, you can apply Python or either Java into machine learning, automations, or even artificial intelligence. So for someone who is just started learning on your own, and I would leaning slightly towards learning Python in comparison to Java. And the reason for that is because Python is a little bit easier to learn. The syntax is a little bit more simplified. It's just easier for someone who is a beginner to start learning how to code, especially if you are looking for a large community to help you out there. Um, Python has a huge community out there. So if you are in school or if you graduated with a computer science degree, you probably have learned some languages like Java, C, or C Sharp. You might have resources from school or even friends that you know who are already in coding that might help you with learning Java. I know that a lot of people is a little bit confused with Java and JavaScript. I just want to clear that out. JavaScript and Java is a different thing. It's not the same thing. It's like comparing car and carpet. They meant different things. They are different programming languages. When I talked about JavaScript, it's specifically for front-end and mostly used in front-end. And Java is different. It's very similar to C and C Sharp and C++. But what if I just learned how to code because I thought coding is super fun and I wanted to create my own mobile app. What do I do? So if that is the case, you should not even thinking about web development or backend or anything like that because web development is completely different in comparison to mobile apps. And what you have to do is pick a size. So either is iOS, which is developed mobile apps for Apple, or you should be thinking about Android, which is developing mobile applications for the rest of the phones. For iOS, I would say that you would need to look into the language called Swift. Swift is a coding language that is dedicated specifically for developing mobile apps for Apple. And there are actually a lot of support from Apple and it's a very beginner friendly language. You would find a lot of fun learning how to develop iOS mobile apps. So if you wanted to develop Android mobile apps, I would say that you would either need to learn Java or you would need to learn Kotlin. If you are already thinking about getting into backend or you wasn't really sure, and you also interested in just learning how to build a mobile app, you might be interested to just get yourself started with Java. Or you can learn this language called Kotlin. And I've seen a huge trend that is coming out right now that a lot of developers are trending towards Kotlin versus using Java. So it's not a bad language to learn if you really wanted to just develop an Android mobile app. 
so I guess the bottom line here is you need to stop thinking and overanalyzing all these information and trying to figure it out what is the best coding language to learn. There's no such thing because when you are looking at a sushi and trying to figure it out if you like sushi or not and you've never tasted sushi you'll never know how it tastes until you try it out how do you start you just start you just pick one thing and start coding already i also created a video that walks you through step by step how you can become a web developer especially focusing on front end so make sure that you go ahead and check out that video if you're interested in front end and until next time i'll talk to you soon Adiós.